Building 16 is our Sterles standalone facility. It has four commercial lines as well as two PDS suites. It has liquids as well as lyo, and it has about 3,000 square feet of freeze dryer capacity, which makes us pretty unique in the network. Our customers come to our pharmaceutical development services here, in many cases, with an active ingredient that has never been in humans. And so um, there are a number of technical challenges we have to overcome and understand in order to bring that idea, that, that active, into a drug product which could be administered in the clinic. From a commercial perspective, we have four fill lines in the building. They range from a 2 ml vial, which is pretty small, all the way up to a, a larger 50 ml vial. We can run commercial liquid products as well as lyophilized products. It's pretty neat on our development side. We have very small scale lyophilizers all the way up to our commercial large scale 640 square foot lyophilizer. So the range of of capability here is tremendous. When we start the lineup, we have a full changeover. That changeover consists of change parts specific to that particular product, as well as the vial size. This um, starts in the washer. So the washer is designed to take vials, wash them, and then it goes through a depyrogenation tunnel. Um, once it's through that tunnel, um, the vial is considered sterile. From there, the vials go on an accumulation table before they're fed through the filler. The filler is a ceramic piston pump filler that has eight needles, can operate up to 400 vials per minute. From there, depending on the type of product, we have liquid, terminally sterilized, as well as lyophilized products. It can take two different tracks. One track being the lyophilized track, where it goes on an accumulation cart where the cart will actually automatically load it into our freeze dryer, which is a process that takes two, three, four, five days to remove a lot of the moisture from the product and increase its shelf life. If the product happened to be liquid, it goes directly from the filler, it gets um, stoppered at the stoppering station, and then it moves over to our capping station where an overseal gets placed. And once the product is finished in their filling operations, it transfers to our inspection and packaging, which actually occurs in another building here on the site. At that point, the product is packaged and inspected and then shipped out to our customer's destination. During normal operations, we'll have customers here uh, working with our operations team, uh, making sure that the product gets out on time, right the first time when they need it. We're always looking to improve our offering and technologies that we have. One of the items recently brought to the building is a full isolator where there is very little intervention by an operator. Uh, this is state-of-the-art technology and really uh, the path for the future of pharmaceutical manufacturing and filling. We have also have plans for a pre-filled syringe line to also expand our capabilities. This will be housed in open area on our first floor as we continue to grow the building for, for new opportunities for our customers. The way those project works is really a highly collaborative team environment. We have uh, project management, analytical development, formulation development, as well as process development and manufacturing. And so that whole group of people has to work in concert with our customers to be able to deliver a, an effective technical solution. The really important thing for us is to really make sure that we understand our customers' needs and engage the customers so that as we run into challenges, that whole problem solving takes on a, on a very team-oriented approach and so we're constantly looking for solutions rather than letting challenges block us in the way. And I think this is an area where our, our pharmaceutical development services group here really excel. Very customer-focused, understanding customer needs, communicating challenges to the customer, and then making sure as a team we work together for the best solution. And I think that's a real hallmark of a very strong development operation. Our project portfolio is from companies of one or two people, and they're one molecule that that is their baby, all the way up to large pharma. And we see all kinds of products and it's amazing to me that maybe 20 years ago I had no thought that we would ever find a cure for cancer in my lifetime but with all of the biological um, developments and the antibody work that's being done I truly believe we'll find a cure for cancer you know in my lifetime 
Um, so that's just extremely exciting for me is the types of products that we work with and the patients that we serve. Delivered with capacity and compassion in Greenville, North Carolina.